This weekend, the Seahawks barely scraped out a win against the San Francisco 49ers. The Seahawks won 12 to 9. And, and after Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson made a ridiculous touchdown play that gave them a lead and ultimately helped them win the game. Uh, I I really don't think people appreciate Russell Wilson enough. He does not get enough credit. In fact, I hear people criticizing Russell Wilson's ability to play football. If you don't think Russell Wilson is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, you simply do not understand football. It drives it drives me nuts. This argument is killing me. I still to this day am hearing these things against Russell Wilson. The offensive line is a huge crippling issue for the Seattle Seahawks. R- Russell Wilson is rarely even able to set his feet. Seriously, I counted, and there wasn't a play in the sing. Uh, there wasn't a single play in the second quarter that he wasn't either being hit or running away from a defender so he doesn't get hit. He's always throwing on the run. He's always throwing as he's hit. He's never able to set his feet. Russell Wilson gets destroyed in the backfield. And, and I know Seahawks fans are, are well aware of the issue. Every, every Seahawks fan knows, yes, the offensive line's terrible. But it's getting insane. Th- this poor guy is running for his life. In fact, there was one third down where Russell Wilson finally did get protection. It's like a Christmas miracle. Like, this guy finally gets a chance. Russell Wilson throws a perfect ball on third down, and it was dropped. (laughs) That is their season in a nutshell. You got to realize, Russell Wilson was nearly perfect yesterday. The guy made great throws. He made great reads. Russell Wilson escaped pressure. But Russell Wilson simply has no help in Seattle. You need to work with a good team of people. I don't care how talented you are. For example, Tom Cruise can only do so much. You need a whole production crew to make a movie. If you don't, you just have Tom Cruise alone in a dark room talking to himself. You can't expect Tom Cruise to make a movie all by himself. You also can't expect Russell Wilson to win games by himself. The Seahawks have scored one touchdown all year. And the only time they did was when Russell Wilson made, had a superhuman effort. Russell Wilson is constantly on third and 11. I know, I'm, I'm pretty intense. I'll admit, I don't like making excuses. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm kind of a hard, hard ass in that way. In fact, I'll admit, Russell Wilson even, he simply missed two throws yesterday. He, 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 he was, he's not Aaron. Here's the thing, though. Russell Wilson missed two throws. So did Aaron Rodgers. So did Tom Brady. Matt Ryan. I know the world doesn't care. You know, you have a paper due. You have a project due. Your boss doesn't care what kind of excuses you have. Your boss wants your assignment turned in. The world doesn't care about your excuses. Believe me, if you know anything about my background, you know, I, the, the world, you know that I realize the world is a harsh place. I am aware of the harsh realities of life. However, Russell Wilson deserves to be given a pass, which is weird to say. I don't say that very often. The Seahawks are not putting Russell Wilson in a position to succeed. The game yesterday against the 49ers, Russell Wilson made plays that, frankly, no one else in the world can make. The way Russell Wilson runs around and avoids sacks is absolutely incredible. No one else, you know, if you, if you switch Aaron Rodgers, no one else could win in Seattle the way Russell Wilson did yesterday. Russell Wilson's offensive line is God awful. If Russell Wilson couldn't run, the Seahawks would not win. The only other quarterback that might be able to win games in Seattle is Aaron Rodgers. Now, granted, Aaron Rodgers is possibly the most talented quarterback in the history of the NFL. Tom Brady... With the Seahawks offensive line, Tom Brady could not win if he played for the Seattle Seahawks. Russell Wilson is valuable because without him, the Seahawks would not be able to win. Replace him with any other quarterback in the league, and the Seahawks would not be the same. The Seahawks would not win games. You watch, I, I watched Russell Wilson run, a, run for his life the entire game. He gets beat up. He gets destroyed. His team is horrendous on offense. Yet the guy's still positive. He's still high-fiving guys, helping people up, clapping his hands. He's overwhelmingly positive. The debate is over. 
Russell Wilson is easily a top five quarterback in the NFL. And it's lunacy. It's absolutely crazy to suggest otherwise. Russell Wilson is a top five quarterback in the NFL.